Meghan Markle is facing a ticking time bomb as an expert is now saying that the next step for King Charles is to remove her Sussex title since the launch of a new Instagram brand. up everyone it's me Steph the Alter Nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this one shall we and the expert that I'm referencing is none other than the man himself Tom Bauer yes he who wrote Revenge a book I highly 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 recommend you guys get and read if you haven't done so already now he wrote for the Daily Mail the last 24 hours hours and says that King Charles and Prince William now face a serious problem, uh, why Megs's new lifestyle brand is a ticking time bomb for the royal family and also a ticking time bomb for Megsy as well when it comes to a title and we're going to go through this article that he wrote, I'm going to provide my commentary and see if you guys agree with Tom, I've got a funny feeling you might. So, yeah, I love how he describes American Riviera Orchard, right? Saying that it's Megs's syrupy new lifestyle brand. I would say it's uh, syrupy new lifestyle bland brand. Because it's very bland, isn't it? It's very beige and cream and beige and boring, right? Um, but, yeah, bizarrely named American Riviera Orchard. And it is very bizarre because it's not something that rolls off the tip of your tongue. It's not like goop, okay? Definitely ain't that. Uh, but it's better described as a time bomb for the royal family. So despite the homely talk of cutlery recipes and upmarket jam, this is the appearance of blatant cashing in, an initiative by Megsy to secure financial safety net for when the Sussex's earnings from Netflix and Spotify evaporate. Now, Spotify have already evaporated because they're done. Netflix are on the way out, if you believe the reports, which I do. So that's nearly done. And yeah, uh, reports are coming in that uh, Megsy's also going to be selling dog food. Yeah. I know, right? I don't think it's that homely at all. Uh, apparently, she's also going to be selling makeup, lavender sashes, yoga mats, dog shampoo. Uh, but Hazard and Megsy once pleaded that they sought no more than privacy when they went to America. Uh, they promised the late queen that they would not commercialise on their royal titles. And of course, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever they have. I mean, just look at the Sussex.com website, right? On there is promoting Archiewell Productions, and that ain't a not for profit. That is all for profit, right? Uh, but ever since landing in California 2021, they've been boasting about their status and exploiting it. And I think it's Bursey Theory, whatever. I would certainly agree. I don't think many of you out there would disagree with that particular statement, right? Uh, but when ARO, ARO uh, was launched on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, the venture was labelled by Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Of course it was! Of course she's gonna pin your conspiracy theory, whatever, cash in on a title. Uh, direction of travel has been obvious uh, since Megsy and Hazza married. Uh, there was enormous public backing for them at that point. Uh, and especially for Megsy, who promised to add a bit of modern moderni uh, modernity and spontaneity to the British monarchy. So this is the thing, right? I've been saying all along, right? When Megsy first came on the scene and started dating Prince Hazard, we adored her, we loved her. We wanted to know everything about her. We wanted to copy her style. At one point, she was actually more popular than Princess Catherine. And when she got married to Prince Hazza, we watched in our millions that wedding. We put the bunting out. We had tea parties, street parties, the whole lot. We celebrated her, right? And then it all turned sour when, you know, she tried to bite the hand that feeds. And that never really goes well nine times out of ten, right? Uh, but there was nothing off the cuff about the invitation list. A few were fooled as they watched the guests arrive at the chapel, uh, you had Hollywood agents, directors, celebrities, some of whom Megsy hardly knew. Uh, but this was the first step in establishing, as he calls it, Megan Incorporated, uh, a dream that she has been very reprehensive uh, to let go. 
Uh, now, Gina Nelthorpe Cown, her former commercial agent, says everything Megan does is carefully curated and forensically planned. Uh, there have been bumps along the way. Uh, to a seemingly alarm, the British media reserved the right to be critical of her conduct from time to time, although not at first. Uh, to astonishment, Megsy discovered that Haza uh, lived in a two-bedroom cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace and did not command an army of servants or have limitless fortune. He did not even possess a private jet. This is a thing. Megsy thought by marrying into the royal family and by marrying Haza, who was once second in line to the throne, right, that she'd have an army of servants, a private jet, all the freaking jewels in the world and live the life of Riley, Yeah. Yeah, no, that was not the reality of the situation whatsoever. Uh, she really underestimated the reality of being a British royal uh, or married to Hazard in that respect. Now, for a while, it seemed uh, these were things that she was prepared to tolerate, but yeah, that didn't last long, did it, guys? Uh, the rules about exploiting royal titles turned out to be inconveniently restrictive. Uh, it was only a matter of time before Megsy was erected the TIG, uh, her lucrative website, uh, peddled lifestyle choices, promoted luxury fashion labels, uh, and now her lifestyle brand is back. American Riviera Orchard, guys. Uh, this time adorned with a regal paraphernalia all over, right? Uh, now, Megs is not the first to do this. Uh, we did have Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, who used a title to make money from ventures, including slimming tips, posh teas, and a 50-pound juicer all the way back in the 1990s. Um, however, there are two main distinctions when you look at uh, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, and Megs, Duchess of Sussex, right? First off, back in the 90s, when Sarah Ferguson divorced Prince Andrew, she was still able to keep a title and there was no agreement whereby she wasn't able to use a title for commercial purposes. It's why she actually got a lesser payout than Princess Diana, because when Princess Diana um, divorced uh, Prince, the then Prince Charles, there was an agreement on there which was, you know, an, an NDA um, and she, it was a little bit more restrictive in terms of what she could say and what she could do. But because it was a little bit more restrictive in what she could say and what she could do, she got a higher payout uh, in comparison to Sarah Ferguson. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, um, yeah, she didn't trash the British monarchy, uh, nor was she attempting to establish a rival royal family across the water. Um, now, uh, Tom Bower says that she's... Uh, he's glad that the Queen didn't survive to witness um, Prince Hazard's explosive memoir spare about the royal family or, or see Hazard allow his wife's exploitation of his kith and kin. Uh, when Princess Catherine is suffering serious health issues, uh, the timing of the launch of American Riviera Orchard seemed very, very tasteless and crass, uh, even before Princess Catherine then announced to the world that she'd actually been diagnosed with cancer and is under going preventative chemotherapy. It also appears that the project has actually been rushed because in terms of the business, there's no chief executive at the moment that's even been hired for it. Um, she's forgotten the basic foundations of a successful operation, which is essentially getting the freaking staff in to do it. And even to this day, it looks like there's more and more applications going into the trademark office in terms of more things that she wants to sell uh, for, w through her brand, right? Uh, now, the King and Prince William, he writes, now face a serious problem, and a woman whose personal drive and hungry ambition seem to know no bounds. Uh, now, Nelthorpe Cowan also says she wanted to rule the world. Uh, until now, though, King Charles has been too accommodating, and even I've got frustrated on this channel at times. I'm like, they need to do something. King Charles needs to do something. I appreciate that at the end of the day, he's going through his own health battles with cancer at the moment and treatment. If he can't do it, Get Prince William to do it. Give him the charge to deal with the Sussexes. Take away their titles. That is the, the only real source of power they really have left. Take away their titles. They've got nothing to monetize then at that point. Get rid, get rid, get rid. <sighs> but yeah, being extremely accommodating. I mean, what's the point of having the Sandringham Agreement, which, or the Megxit Agreement, otherwise known as, which when they, as far as I'm concerned, violate it, there's no consequences. It makes damn zero sense, right? 
Uh, but it's unfortunate that the king agreed to give royal titles to uh, the Sussex children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Now, this is the thing. Unfortunate, yes, but it is royal law um, that, you know, now that he's the monarch, uh, his grandchildren do have the titles of prince and princess, even Archie and Lilibet. Now, he could develop a royal uh, patent, uh, let us patent, to reverse that a little bit, but he hasn't done so. As it stands, yeah, they are entitled to those titles. Uh, now, after the launch of Megs's brand, he probably regrets it. I'd say a lot of the members of the royal family regret it. Uh, the clue is in a recent decision to sharply reduce the formal biographies of Hazel and Megsy on the official royal website. The next step must be to remove their titles. Exactly. A couple of weeks ago, I even reported it on this channel. Hazel and Megsy were temporarily removed from the website. That did actually happen, but came back an hour later and their biographies were all on one page. It was a joint biography, much more shortened, much lesser than what was on before. And it also doesn't say anymore that they are representing or working on behalf of the monarch, the royal family, the Commonwealth. That has been completely removed. So, yeah, slowly but surely, the royal family are downgrading Hazard and Megsy. So, yeah, the next step would be then to remove their titles. So this is why I say for this particular video, right, is King Charles actually planning uh, to remove Megsy's titles since the launch of American Riviera Orchard. According to Tom Bauer... That is a distinct possibility because of what's been happening so far, especially with the royal website itself. Um, now, for King Charles, it will be difficult. Uh, but as the king and Princess Catherine recover from their illnesses and rebuild the institution, it is a necessary step to protect the sanctity of Britain's most precious brand, the royal family itself. Yeah, it's to protect uh, the royal family. It's also to protect the UK. The British people, our culture, our identity, it, it, it's, it's much, much bigger as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but with that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about what Tom Bower just wrote and my commentary, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters